Changes in leadership happening at NMSU as President Floros is stepping down and the Chancellor is taking over. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in Las Cruces and spoke with the Chancellor. She joins us now with details about the President's contract and how much the university will continue to pay him. Well, President Floros will be paid $450,000 over the next year while he is on sabbatical. Now, this is what was agreed upon in his contract, and this is according to a spokesperson for NMSU. Now, I did speak with NMSU's Chancellor Dan Arvisu, who says both him and Floros were hired at the same time under five-year contracts, and that was three and a half years ago, saying the president's position will not be filled, but instead, Arvisu will take on both positions. But after after President Flores' one-year sabbatical, he will return to the College of Aces at the university. He's got a tenured track position up with the faculty in the department and in the discipline of his study. And at the same time, um, he'll get one year of sabbatical paid at his uh, president's salary. And then he returns to a salary that is commensurate with the, the top salaries of that discipline in that college. The sabbatical pay will begin on a February 7th and last until February 7th of 2023. But for, for the next 30 days, Floros will transition where he will be a senior advisor to Chancellor Arvisu. Now, the news of him stepping down comes a few months after the faculty Senate filed a resolution of no confidence in the NMSU president and provost. But Chancellor Arvisu says that talks of making changes have been ongoing over the past year and it was not directly related. Reporting Live from NMSU, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.